Hi, uh, welcome to Big Data Analytics Tutorial. In this video, I will discuss uh, a linear regression numerical example uh, with uh, one independent variable. So, there is another possibility like we can have multiple number of uh, independent variable uh, that is called as multiple linear regression. Uh, I will discuss that particular thing in the next video. So, link for the same uh, is given in the description below. If you want, uh, you can find that particular uh, video also. Uh, now, uh, the problem or the numerical says that uh, there is one independent variable and uh, one dependent variable. So, to understand this particular uh, uh, model, we will take one very simple uh, example. Here, there are uh, six uh, examples are given to us. Uh, there is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six here. And uh, there are two variables. One is called as uh, age and another one is called as glucose level. So, just to understand, I have given x uh, for age and uh, y for uh, glucose level. And uh, what is the problem definition is, uh, we need to use the regression uh, model and uh, we need to predict the value of uh, glucose level. So, what it says is, we need to predict the value of glucose level. The meaning of this one is, uh, the glucose level is the dependent variable and uh, age is the depend independent variable in this case. So, using this particular first six examples, uh, we need to uh, create a linear regression equation and uh, using uh, the next one, uh, this, uh, the linear regression equation, we can find the value of uh, glucose level given the value of uh, the age. In this case, age given to us is uh, 55. Using 55, we need to calculate what is the glucose level here. So, that is what actually the problem definition is all about. Now, if you want to solve this particular thing, uh, we need to calculate uh, this equation that is uh, y is equal to b0 plus b1 xi where b0 is the intercept and uh, b1 is the coefficient of uh, x that is the independent variable and y here is a dependent variable. So, this is what the equation we need to solve. So, here we know the value of x. Uh, if you look at this particular final uh, equation that is uh, the value of x given to us is 55. I need to calculate the value of uh, y that is uh, glucose level. Uh, but uh, looking at this equation, uh, which if I put 55 here, I do not know the value of b0 and b1. We need to calculate the value of b0 and b1 given this actual or you can say that the data points. So, 6 data points are given to us. Using these 6 data points, we need to calculate the value of b0 and b1. Now, how to calculate the value of b0 and b1? So, the, there are some equations we have. The B0 is always equivalent to so and so thing and the B1 is equal to this equation. There is nothing but uh, summation of Y multiplied by summation of X square minus summation of X multiplied by summation of XY divided by N into summation of X square minus summation of X bracket square. With the same note, uh, B1 is can be calculated uh, using uh, this equation that is N into summation of XY minus uh, summation of X summation of Y divided by N into summation of X square minus summation of x bracket square. So, these are two equations are used to calculate the value of b0 and b1. b0 is a intercept, b1 is a coefficient of independent variable in this case. Now, if you want to calculate these things, we need a summation of uh, x, summation of y, uh, summation of x square uh, and a summation of xy. These are the four terms are required for us. Okay, So, what we do is, uh, we will create one table. Uh, we have six examples. We have, uh, this is the independent variable, this is the dependent variable. Uh, we can calculate the sum, uh, sum of all these things, we will put it here. That is the summation of uh, x, you can say, that is 247 here. Uh, we can calculate the sum of these things, that is summation of y, we get uh, 486. Uh, in this equation, we need uh, this one, that is summation of x, y we need, uh, summation of uh, x square we need, as well as, uh, I think these two things are needed for us. So, what we do here is, we calculate those two things also. I think summation of y square is needed. I do not think it is not needed here. So, we do not uh, calculate, but just for the timing, we are calculated here also. So, summation of xy, how to calculate it? So, first uh, calculate xy, so that is x into y, we get here, x into y over here, and so on. We need to calculate this uh, xy. Uh, how did you word this uh, 4257? That is 43 into 99, 4257. Uh, 21 into 65, we get 1365. So, once you calculate xy, calculate the summation of xy, we get this x answer here, that is uh, 2485, that is summation of xy. Similarly, we can calculate x square and y square and then uh, summation of x square, summation of y square here. So, once you get this particular table, the remaining thing is quite simple. Only thing what we need to do is, uh, we have this particular summation terms, we have n, n is equal to 6 in this case, that is the number of uh, uh, examples use this particular values and put these values into these equations that is beta 0 and beta 1. 
So first we try to calculate beta 0. Beta 0 is equal to what? Summation of y, summation of x square minus summation of x into summation of xy divided by n into summation of x square minus summation of x bracket square. So put the values. Summation of y is equal to what? 486. Summation of x square is equal to what? 11409. That is what I have put it here. Similarly put all the values here. Okay. So once you calculate this part of the equation, we get the value of B0. That is nothing but 65.14. With the same note, we need to calculate the value of beta 1. So that can be calculated with the help of this equation. Uh, we have this equation as I told you earlier. Put the values from that uh, table. Uh, you will get the value of beta 1. So the value of beta 1 in this case is 0.385335. So that is the beta 1. So once you have beta 0 and beta 1, we will get the, uh, the regression equation. That is uh, y is equal to, that is dependent variable is equal to beta 0 plus uh, beta 1 x. We know this particular equation for the linear regression. Put the value of beta 0 here. That is 65.14 plus beta 1 is equal to 0 0.38525. That is uh, the beta 1 multiplied by x. So this is the linear regression or a model for the given data set. Okay. Now, once you get, get this part of the thing, the final thing what we need to do is we need to predict the value of uh, y given the value of x. So, what is the value given to us? The value given to us is uh, 55, that is the uh, age. Given this thing, we need to calculate the value of y, that is the glucose level. That is y dash is equal to 65.14 uh, plus uh, this is uh, beta 1 multiplied by x, that is 55. So, once you uh, calculate this equation or uh, solve this equation, we will get the value of y as uh, 86.327. That is nothing but uh, uh, the value of uh, dependent variable. Hence, what we can say here is the glucose level for the given age that is 55 is 86.327 here. So, this is how uh, what we can do is uh, we can use a linear regression model uh, to solve uh, uh, the problem or a given problem with one dependent variable and one independent variable. I hope uh, this particular procedure is uh, clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.